Let me tell you something. It's super cold outside right now. Uh, 37 degrees currently. And it hasn't gotten much hotter than, I don't know, 40 something today, if that. Who knows? Anyways, so I'm here to talk about something fun. Something that could be a good thing or something that could be just PR bullshit. I may be a little late to this party, but regardless, I'm gonna cover it here because it's kinda, it brings up some bad memories for me when it comes to stuff like this. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Anyway, so uh, DoorDash announced again or whatever that they're gonna be having or holding their MeDash program, which requires all employees of the DoorDash company to go out and do at least one dash. What that means in general, who knows? Does it mean go out, do one order? Does it mean go out and do one hour? Does it mean go out and do a full eight hours? We don't know, it's uh, super vague. Apparently they've done this before, but have called it off because of the pandemic, which is uh, understandable-ish. Now the reason why they want them to go out and do this is so they get an understanding of how dashers, well, how the app works in the real world, not in a controlled environment. Which in theory, that's a really smart idea, especially for developers and IT to really get out there and get firsthand knowledge on how the app works when you're actually working. And understandably and not so understandably, the employees are, I guess, furious about doing this and all everything they make goes to a nonprofit organization. Now, like I said, it could be good in theory, but here's my gripes about it. This brings up a really irritating memory from when I worked at Walmart. We were always so, oh no, regionals coming in today. Oh no, markets coming in today. Oh no, there's somebody from home office that's gonna walk through. And all of a sudden we gotta drop everything we're doing clean the store from top to bottom and make sure everything is 100% perfect for their visit. And I always hated this. During this time, I was a department manager. I ran my department, Mwah. And there are some people out there who can back me up on that and some people who will probably roll their eyes because they're jealous. <laughs> okay, that was really dumb. But anyways, I, I ran a good I ran a good department until I didn't anymore. I never liked this because when market or regional or whoever was walking through, I wanted to see I wanted them to see my department on a regular day. I wanted them to see how clean it was, how it was ran, how my back room looked, everything. <clears throat> and I can draw the parallels with this me dash program. Yeah, they're gonna go out and dash once a month. But where are they gonna dash? Really, where are they gonna dash? They're gonna dash right in San Francisco. They're gonna dash somewhere familiar. They're gonna dash somewhere where the restaurants know when they come through. If you really wanna get a grasp on the app, what I suggest, not like anybody from DoorDash is watching, but a good way to really, really get a firm grip on how your app works, go to different markets, go to remote ones, go to small ones like mine, go to busy ones like maybe, I don't know, Sacramento, LA, Florida, New York, go to Austin, Texas. And then while you're in Austin, Texas, you can approve um, Gig Life, his DoorDash account because he's been waiting long enough. Or you know what, you could go visit the Chicago area and tell Joe Gig why he's not getting any orders. I mean, there's so much you could do. If you want a real grasp on it, you really gotta spread out and go different places. Don't just sit in the San Francisco market and say, I did an order, good enough. Now with this supposed employee upset, let's see. He says, uh, oh, here we go. He says, what the actual fuck? I didn't sign up for this. There was nothing in my offer letter slash job description about this. Uh, two ways of going about this. I, I wanna try to be fair, but I might sound a little cynical, a little dickheadish, whatever. Um, on one hand, he's absolutely right. Where does it say in his job offer or job description, whatever you wanna call it? Or maybe it does, maybe he's overlooking it, I don't know. But it is not his job to do this. However, on the flip side, if you are working with this app, you really need to have a grasp on how it works in the real world because there is no, no, 
no way you're gonna fix everything if you don't even know how your app works with real people and real situations, with real money, with real restaurants, not in a controlled environment on a virtual machine. I don't know how they test everything, but I'm assuming it's something similar. And not only that, but you are an employee and you should probably do what your, what your bosses say. So that's, you know, that's kind of the two heads of the same coin. Take that with as much salt as you would like. Is that the correct metaphor or term? I don't know. I'm tired, but I, I had to talk about this because it's just, I don't know, it's weird in a sense. But overall, do I think this is a good idea? Yes. Even if it's just literally one dash in their own market with the same restaurants, seeing the same people, delivering to the same customers, making the same money, it's better than nothing. But on the flip side, why are you having regular employees doing it? But it's also good to know your business of the business that you're in. So I would like to hear what you have to say. What do you think about all this? I'll, uh, I'll post the, uh, you know, that thing, the news article in the description below. You can take a read for yourself if you haven't done so already, and then you can sound off in the comments. Okay, that sounds good. I am gonna go cuddle up on the couch and get under a blanket because I am cold. My name is Dennis. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and I will see you, and you, and you, oh, and you, in the next video.